You seem to absolutely love my cold calling videos and the style that I use. And one of the most requested questions I always get is, can you break down this script and why it works so well? If you don't already know me, my name is Pavel and I started off cold calling random businesses from a phone book from my mom's basement while I was a full-time employee and also a full-time student. Look, I have made thousands of phone calls to random people and this is single-handedly the skill that got me to my first full-time income and now has helped me scale past hundred and fifty thousand dollars per month this skill has single-handedly given me a massive advantage in any business that I've started since I'm gonna show you my exact cold calling script and break down exactly why it works so well in books five to seven meetings for any service that you may be offering plus I will even show you all of my favorite softwares that that will allow you to call businesses anywhere in the world. But here's the thing, this isn't your typical sales training. I'm gonna show you how to actually be a likable person, how to get people to actually want to talk to you. And by the end of this video, I will show you how to get more yeses than you even know what to do with. So this is what everyone else is doing. I went into ChatGPT and I gave it a couple offers and I told it to give me some emailing as well as cold calling scripts. Hey, John, I'm Pavel from ABC Marketing and I'm reaching out because we've developed an AI tool that, click, they've just hung up on you. Or, hey, John, I'm Pavel calling in from ABC Marketing. We specialize in reactivating old client databases to drum up new business. Click. You're getting hung up on. Or even if you're selling websites. Hey, John, I'm Pavel from ABC Company. We offer a unique service where we build you a new website in just a single day. We're excited to show you what we can do. They're going to hang up on you no matter which one of these scripts you freaking use. All of these sound extremely robotic, super freaking salesy, and they sound like everyone else. I want you to do this instead. Hey, sorry, you broke up there. You said this is uh, Roger? Yes. Cool. And you guys are still open, right? Because it's sort of closed for some reason. Oh, yeah, my website. I got I don't know why it says that. So how can I help you? Notice what I did here. I came in very casually almost sounding unprofessional. Why, you might ask? Well, it's because these businesses get freaking pitched every single day. And when you do this, it's a pattern interrupt for them. They are way more likely to listen to what you have to say if you sound like a normal human being. So the first line is, hey, sorry, you broke up there. Is this blank? And this does two things. The first thing is it makes you sound like a customer or maybe even a friend that's calling them. And the second thing is it makes them say yes and agree to what it is that you have to say right out of the gate. And then you can hit him with a, hey, you guys are still open, right? It said closed for some reason. Now again, this gets them to respond yes and starts a conversation. So it doesn't just sound like a sales pitch. And do I know if they're open or closed or anything? No, I don't have any of that information. I'm saying this to every person, whether they're closed, open, or whatever the case. And if they ever ask about it, hey, where does it say closed? I just say somewhere on Google. Now here's where it gets interesting. Instead of me pitching my service, I give them a no-brainer yes offer. And all I want to do is just pique their curiosity. I actually uh, looked you guys up and uh, use your info to build an AI employee. I could book you like four to five estimates the next couple of days completely free. Is that something you would even want? Uh, um, what's, what follows the free part? I want you to notice how I'm offering them something extremely specific. I'm making it risk-free for them and I'm asking them if they even want it. I'm not pushing, I'm not being aggressive. In fact, I'm being laid back. I'm saying, hey man, I built this for you. Do you want it? And even with this process, you need to understand I am not building anything upfront. I'm not looking at their services. In fact, I've never seen their business before in my life. All I've done is get a list of people in their industry and in whatever niche you're cold calling in, and I'm just calling down that list. And by the way, I get all of my lists from tryoutscraper.com. You can just type in any category you want right here 
and then you choose the city, the location, or even the country that you want, and then you just hit get data and it will give you a spreadsheet. Inside that spreadsheet, you'll have all their information, their business name, you'll have their website, you'll have their phone number, you will even have their email in on here as well as the amount of reviews they have, their social media, and a bunch of other details. Now that's one tool you need to have before cold calling, but the other thing you wanna have dialed in is your actual niche. Who do you actually want to cold call? It's much easier if you just have one category of businesses that you're reaching out to, whether it's AI, agency services, or web design, or go high level services, or even social media marketing, anything. Next, what you wanna do is actually turn your offer, right? Let's say you're doing websites, turn it into an actual script that gives them value. So instead of saying, hey, I can build you a beautiful WordPress website or saying, hey, I can install an AI employee in your business that will help you with conversations and this and that, it doesn't matter. Give them something that they actually want. What is it that they desire? No one wakes up and thinks about, oh, you know what I need today? I need a brand new website or I need an AI employee. I need an AI chatbot set up on my website. No, give them that end outcome. Hey, I built you an AI employee that can book three to five new appointments in the next few days. Do you want to test it? Or if you're doing websites, hey, are you still open? Your website said closed for some reason. I actually built you a new one. Do you want to see it? Now, if you don't want to offer free services, give them some kind of free consultation. Give them some kind of free value where you break down their competitors or you look into their business in depth. If you're doing marketing services, tell them you can get them a couple appointments completely for free. Now, mind you, we don't actually do free trials. The way we deliver those appointments is by doing a database reactivation campaign. So all we do is just import their past list of customers, reach out to them, try to actually book appointments from that list. And if we don't hit that four appointments guarantee and they only get one appointment or two appointments, then you can go back to that business owner and say, hey, awesome. Look, we've exhausted your list. The next step is, is to sign up for our services so we can actually get you new leads. We can actually get you more leads. And I have a friend that's in the medical spa niche. So he works with people that do Botox and so forth. And he's scaled past $200,000 per month just offering the database reactivation campaign in the first month of services. And then he sells them the Facebook ads. And if you're selling websites and you're thinking, hey, I don't wanna build people websites that I'm calling, we're not doing any of that. Anyone that says yes and accepts the meeting all we're doing is going into our Go High Level account and just duplicating that website for them, adding their logo at the very top, which takes like two minutes to do, and we're just showing them that, hey, this is the first draft of your website. And even if they don't wanna move forward with that and they want a custom website, you can upsell them that, charge them four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 for a custom website. And all of these scripts sound way more natural and way better than some crazy sales pitch. And what this does is it gets the client intrigued and now they're gonna ask you more questions. Oh, what do you mean you have the website built? Well, what do you mean you have an AI employee that can actually book me more estimates? And that's when you go in and you pitch them the next call. That's great. I would love to show you. We already have it built, but I have to share my screen so I can show you what we have. House tomorrow at 4 p.m. Every other agency or cold caller goes in and they try to over explain their services. Well, actually, what we do is we import your past customer list into this software. And then we have this AI bot that we pre programmed using these prompts. And this is where we put it. And we have this white labeled software. And then we hit run. They don't care about any of this. Hey, look, man, it can get you a bunch of appointments. Happy to freaking show you it's all set up. I can get into the technicals if you want, but it would just be much easier if I just showed you live, don't you think? And then on that Zoom call is where you actually pitch your services. And we'll talk more about how to actually improve your show up rates a little bit later on in this video. And what a lot of people miss is they don't realize it's not just about what you say, but it's about how you say it. It's about your tonality. It should almost feel like you're talking to a friend. Throw in some freaking jokes. Be a normal human being. I'm gonna play an example of this right here. Thought I would call some people in Utah because I heard you guys are nice. <laughs> right on, right on. <laughs> so, okay, well, um, 
So I guess, yeah, give me a little bit of explanation. Now, while other people try to get them to understand exactly how their services work and what they do, I focus more on just being a likable person. Does this person like me or do they not? If they like me, they're going to book an appointment and they're way more likely to show up. I'll show them all the technical stuff once I'm actually pitching them on Zoom. That is my number one goal here. And when I talk about tonality, what I mean is don't be monotone. Don't just say the, this exact script in one tone. If you have one tone, no one's gonna sign up with you no matter what script you use or what magical secret you think you're gonna implement in your business. Hey, so I actually built you an AI employee and I think he can book you three to five, click. That's it, man, they hung up on you. Change your levels of how you speak. Hey, so I actually built you an AI employee that can book you three to five estimates, freaking crazy, right? In the next few days. Hey man, so look, I actually couldn't find your website online. So I decided to sit down and I just built you another one. Look, man, it's already done. Do you wanna see it? Notice the difference in my tone. Notice the difference in my confidence that I am portraying through that phone call. And if they go off script, that's fine. Most people freak out when someone brings them something new or something that doesn't follow their guideline. And that's perfectly fine. If you watch my cold call video, people go off script. They tell me about their freaking problems. Why do they do that? Because it doesn't sound like I'm a cold caller. It just sounds like I'm calling in as a friend and I happen to have this additional service that I want to teach them about. If someone says something about Utah. I might research a couple places in Utah. If they tell me they're from Las Vegas, I'll make a joke about how it's a crazy place and oh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And I'll ask them if that saying is true and, and I'll ask them for a story they have in Vegas. I'll ask them about something personal. Now, after you put all these things together, you will improve your show rates much, much higher, both on the actual Zoom sales call, but even people that just hear you out, even if they're not interested, I have no problem getting people to listen to my entire freaking pitch. And then when it's time to book, just book them on your calendar. Now, what a lot of people also do wrong is they try to text them the link. Okay, awesome, John. I'm gonna text you the calendar booking link. I'm gonna email you the link. Or maybe the potential client says, cool, can you email me the link or can you email me something so I can just look into your company? And then they agree to that. Why would you do that? Book the meeting right on the call. Get it in front of your face and then ask them, hey, how's tomorrow at 2 p.m.? house tomorrow at 4 p.m. and then manually sit there and type in their name, their email, their phone number and book them on your own calendar. If they want more information, tell them, great, you're actually going to automatically get a bunch of information sent to you after we book this. So anyways, how's Monday at 2 p.m.? So notice how I steered the conversation around them needing more information into booking that meeting and I will send them more information if that's what they want. Plus, I'm gonna show them more stuff on that live sales call. Now, when it comes to the actual sales call, what I noticed is when I added these next couple lines before I booked them, it improved the amount of people that showed up to my actual sales meetings drastically. And that change was that I tried to position that sales call as something extremely valuable for, as something that I could literally charge money for. Hey, John, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look into all of your competitors. I'm gonna break down all their reviews, all their websites. I'm going to look at all of them and see what they're doing in comparison to you. And then I'll just present that to you. So even if we don't work together, you're still going to walk away knowing all this new information. I'll show you all their advertising. I'll show you the campaigns that they're running. And mind you, this is not very difficult to do. I don't actually do this before any of my calls. I do this live on the call with them. I'll pull up Google and just Google their niche, right? Landscapers, Las Vegas, plumbers in Utah and I will just show them random websites or I'll go into the ads library if you're offering marketing services and I'll show them other people's ads and they find that super valuable. I mean, if someone reached out to me, I would say yes to that meeting. If they said they're going to break down all of my competitors and they're going to break down all the other agencies and how they're getting clients and they're going to break down their websites, I would want to go on that meeting just to see that information and then I would still hear them pitch. I always want the potential client to feel like they're getting something valuable and like they're going to walk away from that call, not just being pitched some service, but they're actually going to walk away knowing more than they did prior to that phone call. And you should actually try to teach people something on these calls because 
not only does it help you get more sales, but it genuinely helps them. Everybody wins. When you teach anyone anything, it puts you as the authority. Even though you might be 18 years old, freaking 20 years old, and you're talking to a business owner that's 50, you show him something wrong on his website or that his contact form doesn't work, he's going to look up to you. So let's say you book the appointment for 3 p.m. tomorrow. There's a few things you want to do to make sure that they actually show up for that phone call. What you want to do is text them the day of. And when I say text them, do not freaking text or email them and say, hey man, hey John, just confirming your appointment. Still good for 3 p.m. today. That's what everyone does. It's completely wrong. No, text them and give them an intriguing message. Say something like, hey John, dude, looked into all of your competitors, found something crazy. So excited to show you. Think about how much more powerful this is and the position that it puts you in. Because sometimes people respond and they say, awesome, man, what did you find? Right? They want to know. But now they have to show up to that call for you to share any of that information. So that's what you're going to do in the morning. Then three hours before the meeting, you want to text them, hey, John, super excited, man. I emailed you the Zoom link or the Google Meets link. Let me know if you have it okay. All we're doing is just getting them to confirm and then you text and email them once again 10 minutes before the meeting and you say, hey man, here's the Zoom meeting, super excited to chat with you. Now, this is kind of a lot of follow-up just for one meeting. So we just do everything inside of Go High Level. We have all of this set up and you can also take all of my automations if you want. If you sign up with my link, they'll automatically be imported into your account. So all of these go out without you doing anything. You just show up to the meeting and now they're excited to meet with you. Now, if you want to go one step further, then what you can also do is call the client in the morning. Hey, John, what's going on, man? Yeah, dude, I looked into a bunch of your competitors, dude, and I found something crazy. So excited to show you at 3 p.m. I'll have it ready for you on Zoom. And now they're way more likely to show up. This is how the top companies are all doing it. And now I'm bringing it to you. If you want to see more on how we actually get clients and turn them into paying customers, you can check out this video next.